We really talked um, going into the second quarter that this is about us. This is about our execution. This is about how hard we play. This is about the decisions we make. And I um, thought we had a big dip in the second. Um, you know, just too many turnovers. I, I felt like they were all good ideas, um, but we just, um, I, I think, got a little bit lackadaisical with, with just the sharpness of, you know, sharp passes, meeting passes, um, holding seals, that sort of thing, and led to more turnovers. Um, I did think we had some good looks in the second that just didn't go down. Um, you know, got it into Jada some, and, but, you know, it, it's the challenge when you're up like that is to um, just continue to, to stay locked in and, and play at a high level. Were some of those turnovers maybe a cause of people trying to share the ball too much as opposed to just putting it in? Yeah, I said that maybe in the third was, hey, if you, you know, don't overpass, you know, and get fancy. Shoot, shoot the good shot for us. You know, shoot the shot in rhythm that you're ready to shoot when you're open versus um, I think Vaughn turned one down and we had to turn over trying to get it to Jada. Um, just little things like that, you know, which again happens in a game like this. Um, you know, but but I am proud to see them make extra passes. I thought Ivonne played really well, just making the right read at the right time, and um, her jump shot looked good. You're talking about the development of Brittany so far as a freshman season, six games in. She's a fast learner, um, so you know there's so much being thrown at her. Um, you know, these kids come in from high school, maybe have four play calls, so that's a whole new world for her. Knowing two positions is a whole new world for her, um, and then just the physicality. You know that, but but she continues to grow and adjust. Um, just from Miami to today, um, obviously Miami's you know bigger and stronger. But I could see her ripping rebounds down and chinning versus you know grabbing and, and keeping it high and getting it knocked around. So she's she's going to continue to get better every day, every game. Um, I told her today by the time she's you know late January, she's not going to be a freshman anymore. So I'm excited about the opportunity she's getting here as a freshman. Is it a game like tonight really where you wish you had a couple more people on the bench to go to when you've got everybody running almost 20 minutes, uh, only three people, you had one person at 19 and then two others uh, in double digits. You wish you could have spread those out a little bit better tonight, but I'll, nothing you can do about it. I mean, that's not, we got nine kids in with double digits. I don't know how many more, even if I had a full bench. I mean, it's you're going to be like six minutes, four minutes. I, I like that we were able to get everybody nine. Our depth's going to be an issue all year. We're going to have to be really smart. Um, and we, we are, we're already adjusting a lot of the things that we're doing. And, um, you know, but kids want to play also. So, you know, that's always an issue if you have too many people. So in a lot of ways, it takes care of some of those issues. In a, a game like tonight, there's a lot of good things that happen. What are you most proud of your girls tonight? I think sharing the basketball. I just thought we had so many extra passes. We had kids turning down shots for a, a better shot. Um, you know, just the awareness there. And then I thought we were really good in our 2-3 zone. What do you think you learned against Miami, and were you able to apply some of that today? You know, I, I thought we were right there. You know, we're, um, you know, we watched the film together when it was 31-32, and, and we just lacked a lot of execution. We gave up too many offensive boards. Uh, particularly in the fourth, and just how good you have to be in the fourth quarter to go into somebody's home and beat a top 25 team. The execution, the details of boxing and, you know, and finding people and just how aggressive you have to be. And we have a really, really young team that hasn't been in many environments like that and played, you know, an experienced team like Miami. So I, I think we learned a lot from it. How important was tonight's game before heading to Fayetteville to take on Arkansas, who's also 6-0? and Yeah, I thought it was really important that we just feel better about shooting the ball. Um, you know, it was good to see Laren get going. That kid can really shoot it, and, and you saw that tonight. Um, it was good to see Say get some go down, and, um, and, and I think just Vonnie playing so well. So more than anything, I wanted to come out of this game feeling better about – them feeling better about their own game. Um, same with Brittany. So, you know, saw a lot of people kind of get going, and sometimes that's what you need. You need to see the ball go in and, um, and have some success. And I think it's great timing leading into Arkansas. How impressed are you with Prairie View and, um, and their uh, tenacity? They're down by 30 points and playing like they were down by three the entire game. Yeah, they're, you know, um, I watched a lot of their games. I mean, they scored the ball. They, they consistently score the ball. They have four kids in double figures. Um, and so we were, you know, I, 
I mean, we were talking a lot about that in the scouting report. And these kids can get hot. They can get loose. They can get hot. They can drive it. They have really great shooters. Um, we knew, you know, we would be able to dominate them in the post. But when you have that many people on the floor that can put it on the floor and create, um, you know, it's a mismatch problem. So we were we were very aware of their ability to score it and that they would keep coming. Uh, first and foremost, our tempo. It was really good. We were getting in transition, playing fast. I think that's what we want to do. That's really what Coach Whitaker has instilled in us. And I think we really did good at getting out, running our lanes, and just finding the post players inside-out game and just really getting our shots. And we were making the extra pass. Like Coach said, we're playing together. So just I think everybody playing together, getting their shots up, just feel, getting that confidence back. Um, one of the things that I noticed in the game was that uh, Prairie View was very competitive the entire way out. They, they were down by 30 points at one point, were never giving up. Did that help you guys stay in tune with the game so it wasn't a chance for you guys to relax because of how hard they were playing? Definitely. I think um, after the second quarter, we kind of slacked off a little bit, um, and but we that we saw how they were fighting, and we definitely had to get back in the game. So. Kind of bouncing back and after the Miami game for you guys. I mean, definitely <laughs> needed that one for sure. Uh, it feels really good. We need that confidence, especially going to this next game against Arkansas. Big game for us. So just getting that one under our belt, feeling a good win again, and hopefully uh, being able to continue that. Laren, a nice three point barrage today. Can you talk what's going on beyond the arc for you? Uh, yeah, I was definitely feeling good the whole this whole season. Everybody's been just showing me a lot of confidence. Um, just trying to put that confidence in me and players, my teammates, coaches, everybody just really telling me to keep shooting, and that's what I did. They really were finding me, and like I said, we were really sharing the ball tonight. All right, Brittany, how much did that sharing the ball kind of help you? It seemed like you really got off fast with a couple nice passes down low. Yeah, definitely. The passes were great. We were looking for each other a lot, and um, it's good to be able to run and get the ball from running or clear open um, other shots from running. So, Brittany, you guys, uh, because of the depth issues, the numbers that you guys have, you guys are having to play a lot of minutes. How do you think that's affecting the team with you being able to come in and play for you know 23 minutes tonight? Um, I think it was really good. I think it was good to see um, us rotate in how um, often we did and everyone did a good job and played their part.